All right, let's talk about taking out the trash on Linux. So if you're using a graphical program, say this graphical file manager right here, then of course you're going to have the trash here on the side. And that works exactly how you would expect it to. You throw away a file and it ends up here and you can always restore it if you want to, if you made a mistake or something like that. But one thing you might be wondering is how can you trash a file on the command line? Or you might be weird like me and use a command line file manager like this and it doesn't really have a trash command like you would see in a graphical file browser. And so you might be wondering how you can just manage all this from the command line. Because by default the closest thing that you might be thinking to trash a file on the command line is just going to be rm. But of course rm is going to completely delete a file. Once you run rm you will never see it again. It's not going to go to any handy little trash folder like is here. And so you might not want that behavior. It's a little bit dangerous uh, deleting files forever. Sometimes you want it, but more often than not, it can probably lead to some mistakes. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can trash things from the command line, how you can restore items from the trash, automatically empty your trash every 30 days, everything that you could ever possibly need to know about trash management on Linux, let's go. So first things first, we're going to be using this command called trash CLI. And you can install it from your favorite package manager. It's going to be trash CLI. And I believe it's in all default repositories. So you should be able to get this on Debian, Archbase distributions, anything like that. But if for some reason you can't find it, I'll leave a link to the GitHub here. And you can install it via Python. So you just install it with Python's package manager right here. But let's assume that you already have it installed and you're going to get a few commands out of this application. Uh, the most important one being trash. It is exactly how it sounds. It can also be trash dash put, but trash is a little bit easier to type. And let's just check what we have in here. We have a trash file, which is nothing. So let's just trash it and type trash, trash file, just that. And it is now in the trash. Where is the trash, you might be asking? Well, let me show you. So it's going to be by default in your dot local slash share and it's gonna be a folder called trash down here now as you can see we have the files here but it also keeps a little bit of info like whenever it was deleted and the original location which is useful for if you want to restore the files but you don't really need to come here into the actual folder there are a couple of more commands that you need to know so it's going to be trash dash list and this is going to show you every single item that's currently in your trash and when it was deleted. So that's all pretty self-explanatory. We can see we have the new trash file in here that we just trashed a moment ago. Now you might be wondering how you can restore a file that you accidentally trashed. And you can do that with the command trash dash restore. And this will bring up a little menu with all of the files that you have deleted. Same as trash list, but this one will prompt you to give a number here. So let's say that we want to restore this file that we just trashed. That is this one here at the end, the trash file. So we would just hit 19 and then hit enter. That will restore. As we can see, it is now back to its original location. If you want to restore multiple files at once, you can comma separate these. So if I wanted to get 16, 17, and 18, this would restore all of them. Uh, you can also pass in a range here, so 16 through 18 and that would just restore all of these right here. And finally, of course, you can empty the trash with the command trash dash empty. And this will delete everything inside your trash, so be a little careful with this. Or you can also delete anything in your trash older than X amount of days by passing in something here. So if I wanna delete everything that is older than 30 days, I can run this. I wanna delete everything that was before today. So just put in one day here, and then it will prompt you just to make sure that you want to delete all these for sure. Let's hit yes. And then we can now trash dash list and see that we only have a few files in here and they are all from today. So that worked exactly as we would expect it to. And of course, a lot of these commands are a little bit long and verbose. So if you want to, you can just create some aliases of these. For example, I have tr alias to trash. So I can just run trash file and that trashes it. It's a little bit easier. But of course you would just alias that in your zshrc, bashrc, something like that. So I have these aliases for trash put and trash restore, just to save you a little bit of hassle typing it out. 
And of course, you can put these commands in whatever file manager that you're using. So for example, I use the file manager LF. I have a video on it if you're interested. But basically, I come in here, I make a trash command. And this little command right here basically allows me to select multiple files and then trash all of them at once. This is just checking if we have multiple files in here. And if we do, then trash all of the ones that I have currently selected. So you can copy that if you want to. And I just have a command to trash restore right here. And just map those to these key bindings right here. I'll have the link to my dot files in the description so you can check those if you're interested. But that's basically all there is to trash CLI. It is pretty self-explanatory. You don't really have to do too much. Um, but as a little bonus, I'll show you how you can automatically delete files that are older than 30 days. So for me personally, whenever I'm trashing items, I don't really need to go back further than a month. So I like to automatically delete the files that are older than a month because I always just forget to empty my trash. I would rather it automatically do it for me. And so there is a command you can find on the GitHub right here. I'll leave a link to this in the description. But it's just this command right here. Let's copy this. And then you can just paste this in here and hit enter. And what this will do is it will append this to your cron tab. So I'm assuming that you already have some cron manager installed. Uh, for me personally, I'm using crony. So if you don't already have it installed, then at least on Arch Linux is going to be something like uh, pacman-s crony. Just install your favorite cron manager. But you can then check that with cron tab-l. So as you can see, this adds a new little command saying every single day, run this command trash empty. And anything that's older than 30 days, delete. And of course, you can customize that depending on how many days. Maybe you want it to save it for three months. Then you would put 90 here, of course. That's a pretty easy way that I've found to prune my trash every day so it doesn't get too cluttered in there. But that's all there is to it. Now you can go out and delete as many files as you like without having to worry about sending them straight to the abyss.